Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a second possible state record catfish from North Carolina. And this has all happened in less than a month. And this time, it's a flathead. Well, folks, recently I put out a video about state record catfish and really how rare they are. We don't get that many state records that come around. Uh, there are just not that many big fish out there getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And wouldn't you know it, right after putting this video out, uh, we have a new state record blue catfish that pops up from North Carolina that I put a video out about. And uh, that one happened just a few weeks ago. Now there is the potential for a new flathead state record in North Carolina. Now, as I said in that video about the world record flathead, uh, even the state records don't change that often. We've kind of seen a top end for flathead catfish nationwide. Uh, the current world record is the only state record that is over 100 pounds. Uh, there are a couple around 90 pounds, but most of them seem to be in the upper 70s, lower 80s, from about 77 to about 83 pounds. And that's where the current North Carolina uh, state record flathead sits. Uh, Brian Newberger caught it back in 2005 down on the Cape Fear River. And uh, that record has stood for uh, almost 15 years now. So uh, these records don't just come and go away very quickly. They're very rare. And this fish, it would only beat it by a little less than a pound. Uh, it came in at 78.9 pounds on a certified scale. And uh, like I said, these fish don't come along uh, all that often. The great thing is in today's world, there's a lot of documentation about these fish. So let's take a look at this video of them weighing the fish in uh, on certified scales. All right, guys, you can see they've got this thing in a huge tank, which is exactly what you want a fish this size in when you're trying to keep it. Got a couple people, three people there getting the fish out of the tank, supporting it very well. And what they're doing, putting it into a tote here so it's contained on top of these scales and uh, documenting everything. Very important thing to do in one of these situations. Uh, I believe there is a bio biologist in attendance here. Uh, that I could tell in the shot earlier there was somebody in a North Carolina wildlife uh, shirt that was documenting everything, uh, registering the weights. And uh, I believe what happened here, I was watching the video and it looks like they may have got a little different reading on the weight. Now, after they get these length and girth measurements, they zeroed out to scale again to make sure everything was totally legit on where they wanted it and uh, got it back in there. Sometimes you can get some water in the scale. Sometimes it doesn't zero out totally because you have to compensate for the uh, basket, the box that the fish is put in. You have to zero it out for that. They get it back in there, get a good solid reading. You can see the reading there on camera. And... Uh, by all accounts, this one has eclipsed the uh, state record, the current state record, uh, Brian Newberger, uh, at 78 pounds by a little less than a pound. And they got the fish back down to the water, uh, got some good pictures of it, and got it released back out there alive for you to catch. Now, the angler is Tyler Barnes, and the cool thing about this is he is a renowned flathead catfish fisherman. He is not just somebody that stumbled onto this fish and accidentally caught it. Uh, this, this guy, he targets flathead catfish and is a, a very accomplished fisherman, and uh, he caught it down on the Noose River uh, down in eastern North Carolina. So congratulations to you, Tyler. Most of all, uh, I commend you for releasing the fish alive, and... Uh, uh, it looked like it was in great shape. You got that thing into a huge tank, uh, very well oxygenated, cooler water right away, uh, judging from that video, and got the fish back into the water alive. So uh, great catch, uh, great release, and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see you back around maybe in the near future with another state record. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know, just watch them both, they're both good.